let the chips fall where they may, meaning all over me. Sharon Ornelson from here, and our idiom for Supersize Your Business today is let the chips fall where they may. Blue chips, because I like blue tortilla chips, and we've got some amazing chili, uh, chicken, chil chicken cheese chili that my daughter makes, and so I'll be eating that with those chips today sometime. Sometime for lunch, I think. Yeah, for lunch, for sure. If there's any left, actually, I think they might have gotten all consumed yesterday. So I will find something else like salsa or queso to dip those chips in because I like my chips. So today we're talking about let the chips fall where they may. This is an American idiom. It's been around since the 1800s. And it, of course, comes from wood chipping, chopping wood or, you know, using an axe and chopping wood, wood into blocks. And it's a reminder that we should pay attention to what we're doing, the actual chopping wood, and not where the chips are land or where they happen to go. Now, if you're in a bigger operation, I actually worked uh, in a paper plant, a paper mill for part of my early corporate career. And it, it mattered where the chips landed or where they didn't land. If you missed the vat, you weren't going to make very good paper pulp back in the days of making toilet paper. I know. I, I don't know if many people know that about me, that I used to make toilet paper for a living. Actually, I led teams that made toilet paper for a living. I didn't actually make it myself. But I was the brunt of many a toilet paper joke. So <clears throat> what does this mean? What does it mean to us as we're building and growing and supersizing our business? A couple things come to mind for me. Number one, it reminds me to stay focused and mind my own business. It doesn't matter what everybody else in the universe is doing. What matters is what we're choosing to do, what direction we're headed, who we're serving, how we're serving them, minding our own business, right? That's what it first and foremost reminds me of focus on your own business, focus on the things you can control and let the other stuff go. It also reminds me to pay attention to results and then act and react accordingly. When we do something, make sure we're paying attention to measuring the effect of it and then either doing more of it, automating it or not doing it anymore because it's not getting us what we want. And the, the third thing it really reminds me of is to have a problem solving, decision making, change management, uh, testing procedures and processes in place so that we can capture the lessons learned from the things that we do. If we if we do a project or have a promotion or do uh, a, a product launch in our business and we don't pay attention or measure the results, how do we know if we should do more of that or not? We don't. So it just reminds me to, to keep my ducks in a row. I like having my ducks in a row. I actually have ducks in a row in my office here. It's kind of funny. To remind me to keep it simple and keep my ducks in a row. But I actually like this idiom, let the chips fall where they may. It reminds me that I can't control everything and so I should focus on the things I can control and just let the other stuff go. So, love to know your experience with this particular idiom. I guarantee I've said this on many an occasion, both in my businesses and when I was in corporate America, uh, to remind us to, to do what we can with what we've got right now. So share in the comments below your experience with this idiom. I will, of course, be sitting around with another interesting idiom. What does it mean? Where does it come from? And how might you use it to supersize and grow your business? Have a great day.